everyone, this is Justify Speaks and today we're trying Macy's Milk Tea and Korean Foods Jajangmyeon and Tokbok So as usual, I've been browsing in Facebook and I, I saw a store that sells jajangmyeon. I've been craving for jajangmyeon for a really long time. That's the reason why I'm currently creating a series of instant jajangmyeon and uh, compare each of the brands that I have. I'm almost finished with that one. Maybe that will be the video after this. But right now, I already tried almost 10 instant jajangmyeon. So right now, I ordered a non-instant jajangmyeon from Macy. Also, they have a cheese tteokboki, and also they currently offer a buy one take one for their milk tea. I ordered a lemon yakult mix. Then they also have ice cream, so I ordered a dulce de leche flavor. So it's currently raining, so you can hear the raindrops right now. So I'm not sure if it's good to eat ice cream and drink yakult mixer, but let's try it. So commonly when I eat jajangmyeon, I always pair it with pickled radish. So I already have a lot of pickled radish right now because I bought a lot of instant jajangmyeon. So first let me mix this one because uh, as you can see it's not mixed yet. And as you can see, jajangmyeon is black bean noodles. In Filipino, we call it Tausi. I really love jajangmyeon, especially when I tried it on Hyundai. Uh, there's a Chinese restaurant in Hyundai that I bought a, a large bowl of jajangmyeon for only 250 pesos. It's 5,000 won with all of the sides, and that includes the pickled radish. But here it's 200 pesos doesn't include pickled radish. Pickled radish, I bought it from Lazada for 59 pesos each pack. So here's what it looks like right now. Basically right now, it's been more than two years since I last tasted a, an authentic jajangmyeon in Korea. So look, I can't remember it. But the thing that I remember is when I find it in the Philippines, it's not as good. So, but I currently I've been buying a lot of jajang, instant jajangmyeon. So maybe I could compare that to this one, hoping that this is better. So this is the jajangmyeon. Yeah, jajangmyeon is decent enough. Better than the common instant jajangmyeon. Almost the same as the premium jajangmyeon. So, it's a really good one. So let me try it with the pickled radish. They commonly use pickled radish paired with the jajangmyeon because this one is crunchy and a little bit sweet. Uh, fighting the bitterness of the black bean mm. yeah. any jajangmyeon tastes better with the pickled radish try to buy one that's real meat it's good it's, I think it has cucumber it has cucumber and zero vegetables. This one is good. So with that, let me try the Yakult lemonade. So let me mix it first. So up. as you can see, there's a real lemon on top. Yeah. 
put a lot of yakult in here. It's really good. So it tastes like yakult with a little bit of lemon. So yakult lemonade. Now let me try the cheese tteokbokki. So it looks like it's solid because of the cheese. No, it's solid because the sauce is thickened right now. We have a really large stock of the rice cake. Let's apply that one. Mm. Mm. Yeah. This stock bokke really suits the taste of Filipinos. Kind of sweet. A little bit spicy. And together with the cheese. No. It's creamy. I tried the tteokbokki in a street market here in uh, Bhutan. But I didn't like it because it lacks taste. Like the saltiness, the sugar. Because I think I, I already conform with the taste of the, the tteokbokki here in the Philippines which has some sugar. It's very good. Although yeah. I really love the lemonade chocolate. There's the balance of yakult and the lemonade. It's not as strong as the other one that I tried. Then, the last one will be the ice cream. Dulce de leche. They have a lot of uh, flavors of ice cream. I'll put that here. Um, but I love the dulce de leche, leche plan. So, I try to order and I wait for one week before I could uh, get this. They delivered here in Binangonan, so... Mm. Yeah. It's like condensed milk, egg. It's really good. But right now it's really cold, so eating an ice cream is not a good idea. But the taste is really good. So if you want to order from them, be sure to check my description box below. I'll put the Facebook page link on my description box. So that's all for now. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any comments, suggestions, recommendations of what I should try next, be sure to put that on the comment box below. And if you are not yet a subscriber, be sure to subscribe and push that notification bell so that you will be notified for my upcoming videos about food and travel. And if you like this video, please press the thumbs up button and share it to your friends. That's all for now. Thank you and God bless.